Hello, this is what we're building. It is a simple light box gallery to let images pop up in little light boxes. It grays out the background a little bit. You can click out of it like so. When you're working in Bootstrap, you may know about modals, which causes pop-ups and stuff like this, but it is a little bit cumbersome to deal with. So we're going to walk through this package, which has been custom built for you to use already. Let's go. Okay, I've got a lot of stuff built for us already out of the gate so we can focus just on the light box part, but let me walk you through what I did. I've gone to the docs on Bootstrap and I've pulled down this, copied down the uh, starter file here, pasted it over here, and then added in everything else to get us a basic framework that looks like this. By the time you see this, this little uh, video will be replaced by the one I'm currently filming. And then I've got the light box section. Oh, excuse me. Let's uh, grab the light box CDN. Very important that we grab this off of the light box for Bootstrap 5 page. It needs to go at the bottom here underneath the script for the Bootstrap JS. And that's the only code that we're going to need to reference. You can, of course, download it. There's uh, references other ways to do that on the Lightbox for Bootstrap 5 page. We're just referencing CDN right here because it's quick and easy. Then let's go to the Lightbox gallery section. And you'll see what I've got is a container and a little bit of padding on it. I've got the H2 for just the title, Lightbox Gallery. And then I'm gonna have this in two rows of three items each. Each one will contain a picture. Uh, I've just simply put it as a class row, nothing else, nothing fancy. And then it's an A tag, and inside that is an image, okay? So the A tag, I have, uh, I've just put some column spacing on it so that it will collapse into uh, full width at the medium width. And then we're referencing this pick from a local folder right here, assets slash pick seven JPG. And the important part is this right here, a data toggle. So this basically does the magic for us. If we put data toggle light box, this will cause it to boom become a light box item. You can click out of it, you can escape out of it, or you can click the X in the top right corner of the picture. Now, important to note, I do not like black bars on the sides of my images. And if you use 16 by nine ratio images, you will have what you see here, which is a nice clean uh, full full width picture. If you use another ratio, you're gonna have some black bars on this depending on the size of your screen width. So uh, something to note, if you want to get rid of those, just use 16 by nine ratio pictures. Uh, in the image, we're gonna use that same source file. Uh, you can put some alt text there, you probably should, and then class image fluid or mg fluid, as Bootstrap would say. And the other thing that is optional, but I like it, is a data gallery attribute. And I've used just, you can use whatever you want for this. You can call it whatever you want. As long as they're grouped together, they will be part of one gallery. Okay, let me show you what I mean by duplicating these and simply changing the picture file reference. We're gonna add eight and we're gonna add nine down here. So we should have one row of three different pictures. And because they all have this photo gallery, data gallery attribute, we can scroll through them. How about that? All right, now let's uh, duplicate that entire row. And I'm using shift alt down as the shortcut to do that in VS Code. And instead, instead of pictures seven, eight, nine, now we've got pictures one, two, and three to reference here. And voila, we've got two rows all in the same gallery of all these nice, pretty pictures. And you can see that if you, whoops, I scrolled out of it. If you reduce the size, the width will change. You can change the um, size attribute in the code if you would like to override. This is, I think it defaults to extra large size, so you can change that to full screen. You can change that to medium or small or large. Hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, if it has been, like the video, please. And also take a second and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content like this, creating weekly coding and spreadsheet tutorials.
all year long. Thanks a bunch. You're awesome. Bye.